Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool! You need this tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and on Fridays, I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop, or that I have featured on this channel. So today, we're talking LED lighting. Now this can mean all kinds of things, all kinds of LED lighting. I'm gonna kinda touch on all of them, but I'm gonna tell you what's the most important one for me, at least in my opinion. So lighting in general is very important. When you're working in a shop, under a car, under a hood, some of my go-to lighting, LED lighting, it's been something like this. Very simple, batteries, LEDs, a button. This particular one is just something very simple, not very expensive. It's got a magnet on the end of it. You can just stick it to whatever you want to stick it to. I actually like this thing because underneath a car, you're working on something, you can kind of stick this wherever you need to. It's got great lighting, nice clean lighting. And it allows you to do what you need to do while you're under the car, under the hood, wherever you're at. So the second one is very similar to this. This bad boy here, same deal. It's got a button, it's got a battery. This one happens to be rechargeable. You can plug it in, recharge it, and the actual head of it is flexible. So not only is this one flexible, but you can also have multiple settings. It's got a bright setting, two clicks is a duller setting, and then three clicks actually has a little flashlight on it. This one also has a magnet on it, like the other one, and it's rechargeable. So you just plug it in the wall, it recharges, no need for batteries, you're ready to rock. I think this one, uh, I think this one uh, came from Harbor Freight, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go, two kinds of lighting, battery base, rechargeable, LEDs, flexible. I really recommend you guys getting you one of these style setups, but that's not what we're here for. So in the process of finding lighting for the new shop, obviously LEDs are the new thing, right? Got some LEDs in this shop, not enough of them. And I was kind of shopping around for lights for the new shop. And obviously I want to go 100% LED or something very uh, energy efficient. As you guys know, LEDs are the way to go when it comes to that. And uh, so really, that's what we're here for is the LED shop light. So you can actually buy these entire kits, comes with two LED style fluorescent style bulbs. Um, comes with a case, everything you need. Obviously you don't need a ballast. There's no need for a ballast in LEDs. All of it's built in. And so I've kind of used a combination of this setup here and uh, the kind of LED bulbs that you would use that can go in a ballast style fluorescent setup. So basically what you do is you can either buy a setup like this these are like 23, 20, 30 bucks maybe. Full LEDs, super bright, super clean light. Uh, no yellow, great for filming. Or you can just get the bulbs that will go in a standard style setup. You just pull your fluorescence out, the other bulbs go in. The only thing you have to do is you just pull the ballast out, gotta rewire it a little bit, and you're ready to go. The only thing that does suck is that like this style setup, the bulbs themselves won't go in a ballast style setup because of the way that they're wired. So some of them they'll have both legs of power come in one side. That's how you activate the LEDs. The other side basically is just a dummy side and it's not needed other than to hold it in the fixture itself. The other style out there basically has uh, one side of the power come in on one side, you have the other side of the power come in the other side, and that's how you activate the two LED strips within the bulb itself. So, the only thing you really have to make sure is that 
whether you're replacing bulbs or you're buying new fixtures, that they are wired properly for whatever style bulb you're using. Other than that, plain and simple. No ballast, no noise, super clean light, super bright light. If you're doing filming, this is the way you wanna go. LED all the way. All right guys, there you go. This week's tool, the LED shop light. Now, that could be something like this, which I recommend you having, or something like this which I also recommend you having. As I always do, I'll drop you some links in the description. You can go check them out for yourself. If you feel like this might be something you need, want, have to have, there you go. Now you know where to find it. As always, thank you for joining me. I will see you guys some more this week. It's Friday, fool.